Josefina was one of, I think she might have been the first one they did with feathered brows. There are people who will go in and pop out the old paint and repaint it. Because Molly does have a look like. I see you. <laughs> hey Paul, how's it going? Good, you? Good. Are we are we waiting for Kathy? We sure are. She should be here pretty soon. She should be here any minute. So Absolutely. we're actually going to film when she walks in and we're going to see what she thinks of your amazing installation right here. Yeah, I'm really liking it. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you might need to build one of these for your house, huh? Yeah, maybe. It's pretty sweet. It All fits right. perfectly. All right, let's see where she is. All right. All right, here she comes. Hey, Kathy. We actually have we have the camera going because we want to get your your reaction to Paul's setup that he has oh, done. Oh wow, that's <laughs> fabulous! Did you bring them all? Yes. It, that's fantastic. <laughs> this is so fun. We have been waiting for this. We are here with our friend Kathy, who loves 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 American Girl dolls, and you've developed an affinity for them lately. Oh, yes, I would say so. Yes, you would say so? <laughs> okay. Well, you you were nice enough to bring down your almost your entire collection down here, which is so much fun. Hey, Kathy. Hi. <laughs> and we're going to go through these, and you're going to show us a little bit about what you have found. So, Paul, where did you find the majority of these? The majority I found at the flea market. Mm -hmm. You know, and I cleaned them up. I dressed them. They, you know, they come all just ragged looking. Then I take them apart, uh, tighten the limbs, restring them dress them yeah and then not all of them are obviously in the original outfits i just used what i had and i have more clothes but you know i try to make them look good and i think that's a ton of fun paul this is yeah. whimsical and fun and i'm gonna quit talking and let you two discuss these dolls and i just i, I don't even know where to start this is out of my realm so yeah come on in kathy Why don't you so show me what Kath you've got? yeah kathy what and when did you start liking american girls because you were Vintage dolls. From. Yes. My mom and I collected 1950s dolls together from the time I was in college. So 22 years now, 22 years ago. I started collecting American Girl about four years ago. Uh, actually, the little girl I babysit for got me into them. Um, Perfect. And I realized that, you know, the quality is actually quite similar to the vintage dolls. Um, the attention to detail is very similar. And from there, I was hooked. I love it. All right, you can't, uh, as, as Paul is evidently showing right here, you can't stop at just one. No, and they can't. <laughs> no. Oh, no, of course not. <laughs> you, have, you, have, you have to get more than one. You have to get more than one. I, yeah. I totally agree. Okay, so where, where, we, where do we start? Maybe some of your favorites? Probably my two favorites is the, these are all kits that I know of. Um, Pleasant Company and um, just American Girl. And a little mini kit. Too many kits, actually. <laughs> Many kids. But this this one's the Pleasant Company. I have her box and everything, her book. Well, Kathy's here to also help shed light on a lot of things. Paul's done a lot of research, but we don't know a lot of this for sure. So you can also help educate us too You're right. as well. I am always happy to identify. <laughs> good, good, good. So we've got our kit corner. That's them right there. Now, see, to me, they do look a lot alike. All of them. Well, when you have them all together, yeah. But yeah. you have them all spread apart like I do at my house, they... They have their own personalities, own looks, own characteristics. So are most of these in their redress clothing? Most of them are, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like she's, this one's in the rich, this one, her meat outfit is this one. Nellie and Samantha are in the originals. Nikki, I think, is that one? Yep, Nikki's in Nikki's, her original and Mary yeah, Ellen is Mary too. Mary Ellen's in her original. I have another Mary Ellen down here. She, this is her original. Felicity and Marisol Felicity. are in their original outfits. So is yeah. Emily up in the top left. Emily, she's right here too. Yeah. And Molly. Well, let's pull out some of your favorites, Paul. Some of the ones that maybe you spent a lot of time on or that you were really excited to find at the time. First of all was, and you probably heard about this, is the Nellie O'Malley. That's the one that we did the last video on. That's, that's the one that was I had to drive a long distance for her. I was a little late to work <laughs> getting her. But um, she's in the show and in the book. She's Samantha's best friend. And they, you know, I'm not going to spoil anything because it's, it's a good story. So, but they, they're good friends. She was worth the drive. Yes, They she only was. made her for three years, so she's harder to find. Yeah. Nice. Making my day. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But yeah, um, her, and here's another Samantha. And there's another Samantha down there. I think this is Molly, another Molly, isn't it? She, this one is 19. This oh, one's 19. number 19. Number 19, the second version, number 19, has the Felicity green eyes and the light brown wig with bangs. So they just, they numbered them? So there are, they call them Truly Me dolls now. At the time, they were called Girl of Today and then American Girl Today. They were designed to have different characteristics and a little girl could pick out a doll that looked like her. I love the green eyes. And then all they right. made all types of accessories for them, bathtubs, beds, and this is, uh, what's her name? It's Kit's bed. Kit's bed, mm -hmm. but I have a different one in here right now. She has a whole out, little sleeping gown and everything. They did make, they do and still do make just some of the most yeah. fabulous accessories. And this, yes. this bed is made out of metal and it folds out so two dolls can lay next to each other if you want. Yeah, incredible quality on the accessories. A little camelback, <laughs> literally. Oh, that's camelback. cute. The little... That's cute. Mm -hmm. With a little water bottle in it. I think there's a sandwich in there right now. Yeah. And these are all pleasant company clothes. Yep, this is Addie's jacket here. And then these were girl of today nightgowns, these two. But see, then you just look yep. right in here. And that one goes to a fabulous little outfit that has a pair of... Let's see, Pleasant Pleasant Company? Pleasant Company, okay. Yeah. They all have tags. These ones do, at least, have tags. Yes. And well, this goes to a fabulous outfit called, I think it's the Earth Day outfit. It has a pair of denim overalls that go over it. Denim oh. short holes. Love. I know. It was late 90s. Overalls were the thing. Overalls <laughs> were the jam. Yeah. So there's so many to talk about. Kathy, can you pull out a couple that are just that, because Paul has been working on this for so long and he has been restoring them and doing all kinds of fun things. What are some of the hidden treasures in his, in his hall? Oh, let's see. Oh, there's so many. I could talk about this all day. I think, personally, I think this is an underrated doll. She's very interesting. So I noticed He's got the first edition of this. This is Truly Me 27. And the original version, just for the first couple of years, had these permanent earrings. At the time, American Girl did not pierce the ears. So it was a big deal that she came with earrings because so far only Addie and Josefina had come with their little gold hoop earrings. So you can tell the first edition 27s because of those permanent earrings. That's so cool. First that edition cool. 27. This is one of my personal favorites. Nikki, Nikki is the one that got me into the rest of the dolls. When I first started, I thought I was only going to collect Kit. I love the 1920s and Kit's collection is in the 30s. It's very similar. Nikki was the next one that didn't have anything to do with the historical dolls. So Nikki's a Colorado girl and she has a horse, which I have horses and I'm a Colorado girl too. So soon as I found Nikki, I knew that was it and I was just going to be collecting these. <laughs> she has freckles underneath her eyes. She what are does. some of the ways that we can identify her? Nikki has beautiful curly hair. This, um, her curls have been a little brushed out here, which is really common for Nikki. So Nikki has has this car they call it caramel colored hair with curls she has the feathered brows as opposed to line brows which i can show you in a minute and then the the freckles and light blue eyes this doll is actually she is 24 with a haircut um, but those are the line brows and if you compare line brows to feathered brows you can see the difference you see that paul did you know that yes Oh, good. So, we need to talk about number two. This is one of Paul's newest. He got her at the flea market and he asked me, he thought she was Samantha and he said, why is she tan? And that is actually because she is girl of today, number two. And number two can be a little harder to find. Um, sometimes it's just because people think she's Samantha and they list her as Samantha. But also you always have this, little girls tend to go for more of the blonde dolls and that kind of thing. So some of the more ethnic looking dolls tend to be harder to find. And number two, I think was not as popular because of her skin tone. Oh, she's darling. Yes, so she has medium skin tone and then she has the brown eyes and dark brown hair, just like Samantha. And she's Samantha with a tan. Samantha with a tan. <laughs> Let's see, here's both of them together. Yeah. And then the other thing, the other difference with Samantha that you can see is the eyes. So instead of pinwheel eyes, she has decal eyes, which is just a sticker on the back of the plastic. Interesting. Well, they look very, they look extremely similar. They do. People mix them up all the time. 
Okay, Kathy, I'm going to do a challenge for you. Can you go through on one of these shelves and off the top of your head just say exactly who each one is? Yes. All right, let's do it. Pick a let's. shelf, girl. Caroline, Truly Me 44, Truly Me 66, Kanani, Kirsten, Felicity, Truly Me 22, Truly Me 53, Grace, Truly Me 16, Emily, Julie, Truly Me number 7. Ooh, you've got a 20. Truly Me 20, another 53, and that one is 23. Dang! <laughs> <laughs> That's good! I mean, I, I think there's awesome. there is one on all these shelves that I'm not sure who it is. Really? Yeah. Alright, let's pull there's, it out. Alright. That's the one that I'm not sure. I need to look her up. Oh, no, I know who she is. She's 47. <laughs> so this one's interesting, though, because she is the Sonali lookalike. She gets confused. So this is Truly Me 47, and this one is Sonali. And if you see them in person, you can see they're very, very different. But on camera, they've got the same face mold. They've got the same color eyes, same color skin. Their hair is slightly different color, but on camera, it's harder to see that. Sonali is fairly valuable because she was only made in 2009. She's one of Chris's best friends. Um, but 47 was made for quite a while after that. So there's a lot more 47s in the world. Love that. Yeah. Paul, you got to give her a little wash and set. Yeah, yeah she's her she's hair. He'll, he'll do you that. Know, you know when their, hair, when their part looks like that too, mm -hmm. it's because it's parted in the wrong place. Yeah. So if you take a, a pick mm -hmm. and go down like... You can kind of see where it is. It's over here somewhere. So if you wet it just a little bit and take a pick and go straight down the middle, you can, oh, there it is, I found it. You just have to separate out that weft of hair to find the part, and then she won't have wood cap showing. So this is actually 24, Truly Me 24 with a haircut. It's a super cute haircut though. Someone did a really good job. And then, you know, kit, 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 kit. <laughs> This is the CYO. So this is really interesting. Um, American Girl has on their website the ability to make your own doll. So you choose everything. You choose the skin tone, hair color, eye color, face shape, whether they have freckles, basically, and then the hairstyle, whether it's curly or straight, how long it is, you get to choose everything. So if there's a doll that you don't know what it is, it's, there's a good possibility it's a CYO and you can check by looking at their right foot, the bottom of their right foot will always say one of a kind. And that means create your own, right? Yep. Okay. That means it's a create your own. CYO. That's Elizabeth. And that is another 27, actually another first edition 27. We missed this guy. Did we miss this one? This one's Elizabeth. Oh, Elizabeth. Okay. Elizabeth, that's the for another first edition 27. This one is Mia. You can always tell Mia because she's got hazel eyes she's got a very different freckle pattern from the rest of the dolls and then she's got a hair part that starts all the way over there this is a truly me 53 molly oh that is samantha that's samantha it's felicity that's a truly me 16 and another molly nice good job super fascinating yep <laughs> So Paul, we've done a lot of things here. Now, what is the thrill of the hunt for you? What makes you tick when it comes to looking for these and, and going out to find them? To see if I can find certain characters mainly. Okay. And certain bodies, you know, because the I, I really want a white body doll, mm -hmm. preferably Samantha, but Molly or Kirsten, any of the older ones. So it's always a thrill of the hunt as far as that. So if I spot a Molly, I'm like right there, <laughs> I'm going for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. like, get out of my way. Good job, so, all right. And then, I haven't been looking to find one yet, but you never know. That's yeah. why. But that's part of the hunt. Just going out there, see if you can find it. And once you do, you're like, life's great. So, um, just things like that, and different mm -hmm. outfits and characters. And have you? Obviously, you can tell I like Kit. She's one of my favorite characters. I just got one of her actually last week. So yeah, when you find one, you're kind of like, yeah. That's right. So, but yeah, and then and then you know, just working on them, fixing them, you know. Here, stand in the frame, because we're, we're chatting with you, but we want to see dolls, too. Yeah. And I'm about six foot, so, or a little bit more. <laughs> so you can tell how big this thing is. What kind of work have you been doing lately? Anything and everything. The clothes, the stringing, cleaning, the like, the skin, and all, everything. You know, I have a whole area set up at my house in the basement. <laughs> Tables and 
it's my studio. <laughs> it's your studio. That's yes. my dream. One day I'm gonna have a a doll workshop where I hide yeah. instead of sharing space in my kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, doll workshop instead of a kitchen? I love it. You're yeah, true... that's basically what our kitchen is. <laughs> oh, I love it. You're a true doll collector. All right, Paul. Well, this was super fun. So in our next video, Kathy's actually going to give us a master, a mini master class on what to look for when we're out garage sailing. Right. I'm going to help you identify what to look for in, in a white body so that maybe you can spot them farther away. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. You ready for this? I'm ready for it. All right. Let's get going. Well, thank you so much, Paul. This was just amazing. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, thank you. I love having these down here, too. Mm -hmm. Good job. We didn't really get to peek on the bottom shelf here. Yeah, it's Kaya in the corner. Kaya? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Well, you just did a super good job, Paul. He's been so excited to show off his dolls. So we're going to get, we're going to have now our class so we can know what to look for. And and then we'll, we'll see you at the flea market, Paul. That sounds good. <laughs> All right. See you out there. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Hi, sister. Are you having fun? Holland Diane, is this the best ever? Is this the best fun ever? Dare I say, this is more fun than Coco Melon. Mm -hmm. Look, she has like this confused look. Like, what is this? It's good for her sensory. Mm-hmm.